Hi, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and I'm here today to show you how to make your own homemade cabochons out of um, nothing more than cardboard. And these are very easy to make. You can use them for your altered art projects or your scrapbooking pages. You could even use these for jewelry um, by gluing a pendant veil on the back or um, an earring veil. So um, I'll show you how to do this and we'll get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some cardboard. So as you can tell I've cut apart this cereal box and um, so that's what I used for the earrings. And <clears throat> then I looked around my house because um, I wanted an oval shape. So I found this bottle of makeup and um, that I had and I turned it upside down and then just traced around the lid part and <clears throat> then I I cut the cardboard pieces out with my precision scissors and I would recommend precision scissors because they give you a lot more control when you're cutting and um, they don't have to be perfect but you know just do the best job you can um, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to glue these two pieces together and um, you're going to glue them the glossy side is um, that's the part you're going to glue together you want to keep this cardboard part because um, I think it's better when it comes to using the glue on this and having the glitter adhere to it so I have a little sample bottle here because I ran out of the big bottle but I'm using the Aliens quick dry tacky glue you open this and I'm just going to squirt some like that. Where's my lid? Oh, here it is. Alright, hold on for a moment. Okay. And I just spread this around with my finger, making sure that I get all the edges. And don't worry about any excess glue because when you glue these two pieces together, if it runs out to the side a little bit, you know, when you squeeze it like that, that's actually okay because you can just run your finger around the edge and it just gives it a little more, um, it just seals it a little more and it works out just fine. That's how I made my other two. <laughs> okay. So then once you have this glued, um, it will dry fairly quickly. And um, then the next step, I need some some wet wipes here to get this glue off my hand real quickly. Okay. Alright. Um, the next step is you're going to take the Aliens Fast Grab Tacky Glue and you're going to smear it all around the top and you're going to you want to get all the little edges here that's going to be very important and you can put it on quite thick and once you do that <clears throat> you're going to sprinkle your glitter now, I love Martha Stewart glitter and also Recollections. These are the, actually those are the only two brands of glitter that I'll use, but um, that's because I'm spoiled. <laughs> and the color that I used here, this it's kind of a dark jewel tone, amethyst slash twilight type color. Um, I don't know if it'll come out on the camera that way, but, um, you know, because I'm looking at the camera lens right now and what I have in my hand and it shows a slightly different color but it's very pretty and it is titled Muse and um, so that's what I used now you're going, to, you're going to let that completely dry and then you're going to take your glossy accents you can find this at Michael's as well it's hanging up where all the um, different glues are and I'm going to try to do this 
looking over the camera. You're going to let it kind of drain to the, right there to the outside of the nozzle. And then you're just going to go around in circles. If there's any air bubbles, I would recommend using a pin and just dragging them to the edge that seems to work the best. And we're just going to go on around. And I'm just kind of taking the nozzle and I'm dragging it close to the edge, but not over the edge. Okay. And so far, I don't see any bubbles, which is good. I'm going to drag it to the edge with the nozzle. And this will dry and look like clear glass. You're going to need to let it dry for at least a couple of days. So this project, it does take patience, but it is well worth the results. Okay. Now, once you do that and you allow it to dry, I move it carefully over here. You're going to take your um, 18 karat gold leafing pin. I believe they have these at Michael's for about $10, but if you use your 50% off coupon, it'll only cost you 5 and this does last a very, very long time. And um, they also have it in um, silver. So, <clears throat> for the leaving pin, I'm just going to give it a couple of squeezes like that. And you're just going to take hold the cabochon like this and just go around the edge just like this all the way around and you can give this two or three coats doing this all the way around and it'll really turn out pretty I'm not going to go all the way around because I've already done it but um, then allow it to dry and you will end up with some very pretty little cabochons. And you can experiment with the different um, shades of glitter and colors and I think you'll really enjoy this project anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I appreciate each and every one of you. And although I I can't answer everyone's comment, um, I do read them all and, and I just thank all of you for your very kind words. And God bless you all. Bye bye.